another video and today I thought I would do a review on a new shampoo and conditioner that I have bought for Pixie and Roxy. Now we have not tried this brand before nor have we bought from the company that it came from so this is um, a first now I haven't used the shampoo and conditioner yet, my plan is to use it in about two days time but I can tell from the smell of the shampoo that they are going to smell absolutely divine. Okay so without further ado I want, <laughs> further ado, I want to um, show you what it was that I got in the order. Now this is a very pricey package and I think if I was to tell you all how much it was um, and if my partner was to find out how much it was he would go ape. So with what I show you in this box um, I will leave the link down below of the website that I bought it from and you guys can add that up for yourself and find out how much that's been. It was not cheap but I think more of it like a designer brand of shampoo so you pay for what you get basically is all I'm saying. So it came in a lovely black box. Now what I will say about this company that I bought it from was I placed the order in the afternoon sometime and then literally within half an hour, not even half an hour, I received an email back to say that it was ready to be dispatched and I'm like oh my goodness gracious and that was it being second class. Now it did take a couple of days for it to come because it is second class but with how quick the package was put together and the order was processed was just amazing so I'm really really happy with that. Now in with the box um, it came with, um, it basically came really nicely packaged so it literally came like this. Oh, my nose. It literally came like this. So it came in nice black sticky paper. And then when you open it up inside, it comes with the company that you bought it from. So the company that I bought this from was called Aurora Pet if that's how you pronounce it, and it's too many bits of paper. Aurora Pets, and it came with this nice Aurora Pets tissue paper. And basically, inside my invoice of the products that I had bought, minus the price, thank goodness, because if Jamie had seen that, he would have took a fit. But anyway, um, so I got four items, but I have five items in my box. You all remember when we had a dog subscription box called Popost and we get sent a, a bag or a tin of beautiful Joe's ethical dog treats. Beautiful Joe's ethical dog treats. Oh wow. So basically everyone that we get, a, one goes to a dog in need. So everyone you buy they give one but I didn't buy this I just get given this so I'm hoping and I have great certainty that um, a dog in need gets a nice wee bag of treats and they are literally just like dehydrated liver so that is a tasty bag of treats for our two then I have a little card so this is the company here Aurora Pets and basically what I got was designer apparel and luxury accessories for dogs and they have an Instagram page and I got a shampoo, a conditioner, a dry dog shampoo and kennel and dog spray. Now, I really don't know where to start. I guess I better start off with the shampoo. Now, the shampoos are 250 mils, which is quite a small bottle given how much I spent on the product, but it smells amazing and I'm sure the quality of it is just absolutely amazing. I haven't bathed the dogs yet. Excuse me, get your face out, your chin's wet. 
Um, I haven't bathed them yet because I'm waiting to do that on Christmas Eve. We're currently on the 21st of December, but by the time you watch this, you, I thought I wasn't recording there. My goodness. <laughs> Almost had a heart attack. Um, so by the time you watch this, it will probably be after Christmas sometime. But this is the shampoo bottle here. So it's a very, very small bottle of shampoo. Now let me tell you where I got the idea to buy this from. Basically, I watch a YouTuber on YouTube, funnily enough. And I see that she has, she has a, a black pug. And she used the shampoos. She had this shampoo and she has another shampoo, but I like to look at this shampoo better. So I decided to go with this one and I just wanted to give it a go. So this is called Bondi Wash and it's paperback and lemongrass. And it's beautifully scented and naturally effective using Australian biotanicals. So this is basically Australian based Oh, wee bit of Aussie here in the UK. So basically, um, it combines Australian biotanicals with natural ingredients to create products that are gentle, effective and beautifully fragrant. So this paper bark is a gentle but powerful oil which will remove germs and repel insects. Which is really good. I suppose you need that in Australia with all the bugs and things. We don't really get that here in the the UK we don't get all the big creepy crawlies that you guys get but nevertheless you can't go without a wee bit of insect repellent. Um, while calming and relaxing combine with other oils including lemongrass which I love, rosemary I love and lavender which I just love. Um, this formulation is specially designed to suit your dog's sensitive skin. So you pour a small amount onto your hands and spread all over your dog's wet fur. Lather well and rinse well and keep out of direct sunlight. So it basically has the ingredients um, in there and it's got Australian bush oils. Oh, I just love it. I just love I love Australia. I watch Home and Away and I just love it, love it, love it, love it. And if it wasn't for the bugs, I would probably be over there. Anyway, um, so that is the size of the bottle there. That is the bottle. And it's quite a kind of jelly-like substance. And it smells... I can have a... I can taste. I can smell kind of... It's like a minty smell. Like, to me, it's minty. But I think it's just the lavender combined with the lemongrass. Because it's kind of lemony and lavendery. I love it. I cannot wait to try this and I will hopefully be able to get a picture or a wee video clip of like the after results just you know to see what they look like and smell and feel like. They have a lot of hair so I think I might need to use just a wee bit more than a small amount into my hand. However I do have my clear container um, which is like a ketchup bottle and you basically put like a small amount into the bottle and then you dilute it with water, give it a shake and then just kind of scoot that all over their skin and it basically dilutes the shampoo. doesn't mean you have to use as much but you get as much liquid over the body as you can especially when they have really really long hair. It's really beneficial to use that so I am going to basically um, use that for this I think and then decide whether or not I want to buy another one although I think I'm going to need to save my pennies to buy more. Um, the next thing is the conditioner which is exactly the same smell so it's got the lemongrass, rosemary and lavender. It's basically a set. So again you pour a small amount into your hands spread over your dog's wet fur. You can comb or massage through and I visualise this for their tails, their ears, their moustache. I wouldn't probably use it on the whole of their body or I would probably more generously go in at the face and the tail whereas I could probably just kind of roughly you know lather it over their body and if I miss a bit then it doesn't really matter but I would love to really like comb this through their moustache um, and again um, it is um, the same scent, so that is it there. There you are. So 
So that again in itself is probably the same amount as what it is with the shampoo. So I think given the two of these together I'm just under £40. You can kind of guess how much they are. Um, the next thing I got was the kennel spray. Now the kennel spray, again, everything is the same scent. Everything is the same scent. So it's got the same products in it. Now, what I will say is that the spray is an insect repellent, which is really good. So when you spray this on their, their hair, and that would be good to use this in the kind of spring summer time when the, the midges are out and the flies and the bugs are out. Um, you are not allowed to store this you're not allowed to store this above 30 degrees because it is in a metal can so it probably will explode on you and it says use within 12 months of opening so I basically have until next December to use this which is really good so we will get past a kind of summertime period by using it and you can basically spray this onto their bedding or their kennel if you have a kennel for your dog but we don't have a kennel nor do we have a crate anymore we whoops brush your fingers we just have the beds now so to freshen up the bed area i would just give the bed a wee scoot of this and i would also just give them a wee spray on their fur just as a kind of freshen up as well but that's something that's going to come in real handy um in the summertime i think when we go on our lovely long walks we always go on don't we ladies mm, not enough um but the last thing we got was the bondi wash dry dog wash and this i cannot believe you can actually get dry dog shampoo like i use dry shampoo in my own hair but oh my goodness so that's beautifully scented and naturally effective using australian Biotanicals again the exact same ingredients it is repel it repels insects again and all you do is sprinkle a little powder onto your dog's fur and rub gently through let it sit for up to five minutes then comb or brush out keep powder away from eyes and nose and do not ingest so that is it there and it comes in a lovely matte tube and as you can see it has the talc dispenser there so and i've already used this on the girls i wanted to try this out so that is it there it's just a white powder just like talcum powder and then i literally just rub into my hands and i just rub it through their coat roxy's being my my model for this today and let me see you can hear Oh, you smell so beautiful, don't you? Don't you smell wonderful? Oh, she smells lovely. Mm -hmm. You tired now? Mm -hmm. And it's the one thing I like using is relaxing and calming things on the two of them because well Roxy especially because of her anxiety and her separation anxiety I am literally trying everything in my power to keep her as calm as possible um, and she's on medication for that so it will be nice to have a nice wee relaxing bath as well um, on top of that. Now what I will say is that sometimes I fill up the bathtub and I basically pour a wee bit of shampoo into the bath and it throths up. That kind of washes under their bellies and their legs. And then I just kind of sparingly use some shampoo on their heads and their back and their tail. And then I literally just go over them with a shower once they empty the bath. But I let them sit and have a soak. So I would really like to try this um, a small amount in the bath as well. Um, just for a kind of soak relaxing time. So I might actually do that on Monday. Um, but I really, really love these products. I find the website that I bought them from really, really quick and efficient. Um, I would really recommend... Um, you know going through them to buy this stuff if you were interested as I said I will leave the link down below in the description box for you guys to go ahead and check that out and what I will say is that they don't just do shampoos and conditioners they do 
um, like harnesses, leads, collars, treats, a whole range of things. Jumpers, like oh my goodness, I could go crazy for jumpers. But I will let you guys go ahead and check it out for yourselves. Like I said, I will have it down below in the description box. But thank you very much, you guys, for watching this video. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and leave us a comment. Let me know if you have tried this stuff before, if you haven't, or if you know any other good shampoos or conditioners that I can basically get within the UK. Um, and I don't have to get out with the UK then let me know and if you haven't already please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!